There we go. <clears throat> Ahoy everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Dillian today, along with... Smitra Kier, at your service. And welcome back again to Knownless River, uh, Game of the Year edition, or rather the... Uh, yeah, the fan patched version. I've managed to track that down again from exactly which version this was. And uh, yeah, the schedule has been more weird lately than normal. And the reason because of that is uh, one of the reasons that has been draining my stamina recently has been that it, apparently I had a freaking, in well, technically still have a freaking infection uh, somewhere. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's been draining me even, even well, besides the night shifts and such. So yeah, yeah. an unfair uh, work schedule. Like again, four, four, forty four night shifts in a row. And you only got one and a half day off. Yeah, but that, that's just bullshit. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, who knows how long that infection has been going. It It is on the recess, it's been treated with antibacterial soap and such, and I'm taking vitamins just to be extra sure, uh, because better to be double sure than, well, go <laughs> fall knockout uh, during something because of it. Yeah. <sighs> also a bit of a late, uh, I noticed that there's a new follow-up in the event tracker, so thank you for you know, following, uh, even though it's... This we're late on this. Thank you for following uh, Smoop's other nonsense. That's someone who we've raided, I believe. Yep. It, yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah. It was the order we raided the last time. Yeah, because I switched. Yeah, you know, I switched the uh, share screen that <clears throat> that Rakir usually has to the browser that I was using, so we actually got to see who we were raiding for once. <laughs> I should probably do that more. <laughs> yeah, or just get and... you to get a Twitch account. I'm not getting a Twitch account. No, <laughs> no. I, I think I'd rather stay like this. That's a bit of a mystery, doesn't it? <laughs> Anyways, with all of that out of the way, uh, let's continue with the game. And I'm pretty sure I said I would feel stupid after real, uh, finding out what the hell we needed to do here. And uh, yeah, let's just say I feel stupid because you can see it right here now already. Oh. Oh. Wait, we had a grappling hook? Yeah, we got this during the training. They won't expect that. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, even I feel dumb enough. Usually I remember these things. But I had completely <laughs> forgotten about the damn grappling hook. Yeah. <laughs> you and me both. Even though I specifically brought it up last time in the in the level before. Yeah, it, it might be why I didn't remember it. Well, you only, maybe only used it once, and to be frank, I, I would not be surprised if I missed you using it while I was get, grabbing food or something. Could be. <laughs> so it could be an item I even completely missed out you had. And... Yeah, so much for not being expected. <laughs> they had a freaking ambers ready for us, which almost killed us. I'm half tempted to just reload. Oh yeah, let's see just how far we get with this little health. Yeah, and what's the with the... They... There's a lot of things in this game I'm surprised by and impressed that I went to so far with the detail, just to make it a more fun experience. But then there's the moments you wonder why did they not continue this the uh, stride when we've seen this almost same painting several times now, the same night. It could just be the same in joke why most of the enemies have the same model. <coughs> Possible. <laughs> and at some point you used to have to start cutting corners a bit somewhere. Let's see. True. The, the chef. Uh, Pfefferhausen from Acme Meatpacking, 46 pound uh, ground pork snouts, medium grade cans. Okay. <laughs> and also, yes, they mean the very same Acme as for the freaking Looney Tunes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I kind of wonder. I feel like I've seen Ac uh, Acme 
elsewhere as well. Because it is basically an in-joke at this moment. She's in the air duct. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna at some point look it up to see if there's something deeper in depth about it. But yeah, to my knowledge, Acme is just a complete in-joke among many things to just make fun, uh, to just explain where the hell people get stuff from. Yeah, I feel like I heard somewhere that it's a bit... Uh, it started out as a joke towards certain companies, but uh, yeah, again, I'm gonna need to double check this for it has been a while. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be on the ground here. I just meant to sneak up on this instead. Just in case, because we we died when we fell to the floor before. Okay, either that was from fall damage or just because we're not supposed to be hitting the ground at all. And if that is... If we are supposed to be going down here, then we're kind of screwed with how little health we have. Yeah. Oh, no. I just realized something. Hmm? In on YouTube, there's there seems to be a new company name that's taken the for the similar position as Acme. No. Oh. It's a company you're probably familiar with. IKEA. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it would be rather hilarious to just run across IKEA furniture in a spy game like this. Yeah, but people, since it's on YouTube, they basically bring an IKEA yoke whenever there's uh, there's something complicated to build up, a weird puzzle, or <laughs> where they either praise or criticize some machine they're driving. Uh, let's see. Frank, please, yeah, please install a security camera above the ivory, uh, uh, ivory trusses and trestles. As intruders have been climbing the wall and entering via the attic. Thank you, Mel Borscht Gardener. Okay. I, I misheard it. What did you say? Prank? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there is someone <laughs> named that, even if they will rename themselves as a prank. So, we, um, as well, we're talking on pranks. You clearly just made a knock prank against the poor door. Uh, let's see. Ah, over there. I'm guessing. I can already imagine every NBC opening door after you run away. <laughs> okay, not meant to do that. Okay, that should be safe. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Let's not get stuck like... 10 minutes into this already and see where the hell we actually need to go and not slide down this time the water tower I seriously doubt that's where we need to go oh, I see I noticed that this one was a bit off looking yep and those are definitely going to collapse underneath us <laughs> there we go Go. I get the feeling those two might have had a conversation if we snuck closer, but they spotted us too early. Yeah. Do I have to say, unlike most spy games, you've been kind of quite far with your, mostly the pistol. Yep. It, again, it is on easy mode still. Yep. I say that and thought. But you did say you could see them breaking apart. Uh, that was that was more at a bit back. Not that was just the model getting a bit. Uh, uh, oh, okay, so F is also shoot apparently. Yeah, I'm, well, I was talking about these here. Those are definitely going to break underneath. <laughs> oh dear! And did you just alert them? Yep. Oh well, might as well see if we can actually cross those or not. 
I was just... Wait, what? Really? <laughs> I was... I was just about to comment on... Why the hell does... Uh, Ivy sound like a metal ladder? Oh, gee, Helian. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Why? Uh, okay, on. I think they re reuse sound for... Yeah, of course. Actually... But it's still funny that ivy sounds like metal, or maybe... I've heard of fake plants, but not iron plants. Oh, I don't think that's what uh, this are you doing the sound. I think it's the damn thing that it's growing on. Yeah, but that's supposed to be wood. Yeah, which just makes it weirder. Since stepping on those wood would probably be more qu quieter than you falling. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we tested it this time. Come on, let me in. That's rude, and then they stop. Okay, I'll be taking your stand knock off. There is just something about this design that I really like. Even though supposedly the stand was an absolutely terrible gun. It, it still worked. <laughs> okay. Let's not That's fall off this time. Ain't the stem rifle a British rifle? Uh, British submachine gun, to be more accurate, yeah. It, it was basically made from... Sp no, not spare parts, but from very simple parts. Uh, oh. Beer? Or... <laughs> okay. What did you be falling to? Uh, let's hope it was beer. Or stew. <laughs> Either way, I think I think Kate has had her share of Oktoberfest by now. No, oh dear. Uh, and of course, there's a keg. I take that. Let's see anyone? Nobody. Okay. What have we here? To supervisor Wagner from Chef Pfefferhauser, unable to locate. Uh, oh. Locate meat supplies for Oktoberfest dinner. Please have someone search that hotel storage facilities. Okay, so even with all of those pork snouts, they still didn't have enough meat. <laughs> also, pork snouts. Uh, yeah, I would never eat that. This is some party. Yeah, that... Pork snout is more of... I would put it on my menu... If I'm uh, trying to make sure I don't waste as much meat as possible in a survival situation. You know, when you should not be picky. Yeah. <laughs> Almost shot you, I need more idiot. beer. Him again? I, I uh, feel like he's a, a in-game joke as, as some kind of gag. Yeah, the, the fat drunk American. Also... Just the, just the timing of this is her saying this is some party, the half board, and then the place turns into a shootout. Yeah, now it's a party. <laughs> okay, they didn't hear yeah. anything, really? No, nope. And apparently that, that is going to shut us out of the Oktoberfest party. Yeah, okay, screw you lot as well then. She got away. What did you say? I don't think I heard you. She, uh, well, I, uh... Say it! She got away. How is that possible? Perhaps you feel the odds were in her favor. Nein, Fräulein Wagner. Then you're admitting that you failed? Jawohl, Fräulein Wagner, I should be punished. My thoughts exactly. But how shall I punish you? Electrocution would be painful, or perhaps a good beating. But I beg of you, please do not deprive me of the chance to hear you sing. I do not think I could take the pain. Is that so? Then you have just decided your punishment. 
You will be prohibited from attending my motivational concerts for one week. <laughs> for two weeks. Please, be merciful. I do not find pleasure in hurting you this way. But without proper discipline, this organization would fall to ruin. Kaput. I understand. <laughs> no singing for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I bloody so knew it. Perhaps that punishment is too inhumane. Let's go with electrocution instead. Jawohl, hmm? Fräulein Wagner. Celebrating oh. too early. <laughs> yeah, uh, for what? I wonder what the heck did she go. We should be directly over the wreckage. You'd better get going. What happened to the chivalry? You're not going to tell me it's too dangerous for a wee little lass to go down there by herself. I'm not the one that left the manifest and the captain's log aboard the ship. Well, I'm not the one that scuttled the damn thing. You want me to go? No, I just wanted to argue about it. Wish me luck. And of course, they're here as well. Those are really just a big ass H in the front. <laughs> yeah, that's not... Oh dear. Send in the diapers! Make sure you get the shipping manifest and the captain's log. Oh, and if you see a half empty ball of Lafroyd floating about in my quarters, I'd be much obliged if you'd retrieve that for me. <laughs> yes, sir! Okay, what is with that you salute? Disgust me. So? You are a drunk and a coward. You can say what you please about my hobbies and my hygiene, but I swear if you ever cast aspersions on my manhood again, I'll pound you. I'm not a coward. Your threats don't frighten me. A good beating might knock some of that ugly out of you. Care to find out? I will be in my quarters rehearsing. I am not to be disturbed. That's right. It's the rest of us who'll be disturbed, you bloody great banshee. I have cats in heat that sing prettier than you. Criticism is the refuge of those without the talent or discipline for the pursuit of art. I pity you. And well, you should. You call that belling of yours art. Fart is more like it. Imbecile. <laughs> fatty, fatty, fatty. Come on, Magnus. Fatty, fatty. He <laughs> can't even be. He can't even be original with his insults. Okay. Yeah, he is original at start, but then it trails off. Okay, I don't remember much about this level. Mostly because I do not like it, because I do not like being on deep underwater. Well, already around this era, people did not like underwater missions to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> There's the whole thing with water levels in games and people disliking them in general, in general because they were done poorly. Yeah, but, and they can't be done poorly today. Yeah. But in general here, it's more a sense of vulnerability that I probably spoke of once or twice before, perhaps more so on uh, streams, and that I do not like the sense of vulnerability that you are... Well, you can be literally be attacked from any angle, uh, even from underneath, and also that. Yeah. Or that's, anything unknown. That's a shipping manifest. The, yeah, I know that the, in general you can you, know, you can still be attacked from any angle on land as well, but I think it's just the added fact, really just playing knock-knock here, Kate. <laughs> just the added factor of just being able, not even being able to tr trust where your feet are, that uh, also doesn't help with it. Yeah, also... Yeah, we, 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 we did not evolve to swim underwater to begin with. <laughs> and uh, that. Yeah, I guess you could say it's... In your case, being underwater is... Is a thing induced from being basically out of your element. Okay, skip that. 
and yeah, we aren't uh, too fast either in this. This is this is as fast as we can go, and those sharks are a lot faster. And I'm pretty sure, I actually know them. I don't think their bites are a one-hit kill, but because we don't regenerate health between scenes, yeah, we don't have much to go with. Oh, okay, that's bad. Uh, let's see here. One of the few games I know that's had done underwater uh, things done well. Well, it, well, Subnautica. Yeah. yeah. But that one you can expect not to take extra time to make it good since... Well, it's 90%... Yeah, it, it basically it's 90% done underwater, that game. Yeah, they have to do it right, or, well, <laughs> the entire game would suck. Yeah. But the game I feel like they're done on the world combat well is Guild Wars 2. Most of course, the, there's no... You don't need to check uh, your briefing. You have uh, an, an actual brief on your face, basically. Yeah. Come on. It's still annoying. It's still annoying to fight the water, but since you don't need to worry about air, it's not as annoying. Let's see. Be advised that the newly installed H2000 waterproof wall safe in harm vessels have been recalled due to faulty K rings. So we had that same message earlier. Actually, isn't that wasn't that the same one that we had that we would have found in the captain's quarters or something in the on the ship? I Maybe? Unsure? Wait, no. no. I think we found it before you made the ship sink. Well, we didn't make it sink. That was Goodman. Um, true. Let's true. See. And it looks like it takes about three harpoons to kill a shark and we gain, get back to, and also this would be destroyed. <laughs> Arm safety film of the month. Studies have shown trapped sailors can survive for four days on the water if an air supply is available. If your ship flounders, simply close all valve hatches. The life you save could be your own. Come on, get out. Date. Date. Yeah, you moved a bit earlier, come on. A bit again there. We, we can't crouch. Because, well, we're swimming. Oh, gotta, oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, there's that also with some underwater levels. And it looks like Worst Premade Ever is going online on... <laughs> it's going live on Twitch now with Grounded. Which is basically Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the survival game. Which recently got its full release. Oh, that I, I think I only seen a little bit, but they haven't had much interest in it. Let's see. But if it does the well, that's just good. I think this is just because, well, I don't really want to play as a kid. Let's see. We're supposed to be running into divers soon enough. Uh, from what uh, from oh I've seen it is a it is a pretty competent game and it seems we lost our crosshair again somewhere along the way. Okay. That happened oh, before, yeah. but what exactly causes it? I have no freaking idea. Actually, let's do a little test. Save game. Yeah, and also I have to say this about the sharks. They put a lot of detail into the sharks. For this era. Yeah, sharks in games tended, tended to be very chunky. Yeah. So, otherwise, when they did they make them decently good, they didn't do too much animation with them. Hey, they tried, and they. Well, the animation is smooth, just the sharks themselves looks rather. How to say? Mutated in the teeth department. Is it a, that's the second sparking cable that we found so far, which does make me question how far exactly can uh, a cable electrify water? 
Or is it... Yeah. Does it get, get to a point where there is so much water that it can't electrify anything at all? Yeah, I think I wanted to have a sense. Remember, we do have electric eels, electric jellyfish, electric parrots. Oh, uh, wait, no, not the last one. And the toxin. Okay. Uh, and that, that's more... Not, that's more not the case that the electricity is poured outside into the water. It's into spe specifically a target because they are making contact. They're, well, we found where some of the snouts went, apparently. They stole it from the, <laughs> the ship. Oh, dear. Probably not, but still. Also, something that really doesn't really help with me and underwater is that I already have pretty good hearing. And, well, add in the fact that underwater, sound gets amplified <laughs> a lot. And, yeah, uh, I, I, yeah. Yeah, I get what you mean. I have almost forgotten that. Like, half of these sounds yeah. that we're hearing could be coming from the, you know, from the bloody other end of the you know, ship. And, well, that's the save, it seems, but we can't interact with it. Not just ick. Oh, I heard a... I think we I think the divers found their way in. Luckily, it's one-hit kills. Let's see. Uh, it's maintenance. Please remove the faulty H2000 safe from my office. Thank you. Oh, I think I know that. what might be going on. Uh, that, that, may, that might be another case where we need to come back with the gadget we get later in the game. Did you say... Har...Nemo? Or Har...Memo? Memo. Did that harpoon literally bounce off of us? Uh, ow! <laughs> ow! <laughs> Why did... I'm pretty sure I hit that one in the torso, not the freaking forehead like the other one, but oh well. Yeah, and again, people, harpoons are not harmless on land. So if you see someone in game running at you with a harpoon, even if it's on land, you should probably get away. For you may not have a long range, but bloody heck, that ra that short range will be enough to kill you. Just, it, yeah, it's kind of why it's... Uh, mostly used underwater since other firearms are way too useless underwater yep because yeah you know, the moment one gets fired the the chamber floods you know, the, yeah, the firing chamber of the gun floods making it useless because there's no air to actually well ignite at the second round yeah there are some you can fire underwater but then you have another problem. You maybe fire up one or two shots before it stops, or most Ow. even before then. Oh bloody heck! Your aim is terrifying. But yeah, they also had a problem. Of the bullet travel distance will be way less, and the actually goes way less lethal and extremely inaccurate. Just give him some action puncture in the neck with the oversized needle. Yeah, and yeah, this is kind of why Harpoon is favored on the water, at least Harpoon guns. However, the ones you put... Yeah, Harpoon guns you board to a ship, they have a longer range and are meant for bigger targets, so... You... Yeah. yeah. Watch out for those. Just normal Harpoon guns like this are meant for spearing freaking sharks and such, so imagine what it will do to you if it, you know, it's supposed to... If it's supposed to pierce something that has inches of flesh compared to humans who, well, have at best probably three to four inches of flesh for it to go through. Yeah, that, they're also used for some deep fishing, for some fish you can't eat. But this one we have here is more militarized. And I think we, we keep hitting him in the head because this the, their head is the front most part of the bo on the hitbox. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it, 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 these weapons are brutal. 
and just the idea, like, since I played Heroes 2, just the idea to see a gnome with a harpoon gun on land is terrifying. Hmm. Says, let's be honest, we have a nine feet tall, super strong warrior with a harpoon gun meant for whales. It's only bringing that on land. Yeah. And they are already known to being walking ballistas with a non sized longbow. So yeah. bring a harpoon gun? That, that's another way of describing harpoon guns. Basically, the <laughs> ballistas meant for underwater use. Yeah, or hunting. Like, yeah, big harpoons on ships or were meant for whales. Let's see, nothing down there. I wonder what Power. part of the architecture this is. Uh, that's good question, but... Yep. Oh. Any luck? Aye, mostly bad. I was ambushed. Ambushed? Yeah, by divers. They came out of nowhere. Did you see anything up here? Not a damn thing. Well, I got what we came for. Let's head for shore. And we have at least one harpool, harpoon hole to prove that we got ambushed this time. Whoa, bloody heck. Okay, at least that's that. No awards. Success at last, albeit overdue and underwhelming. Head to the war room for an update on the situation. Perhaps there is a shred of hope after all. <laughs> oh yeah, you were about to say... Yeah, you were about to say something more on, on the harpoons and such. Uh, what, oh yeah, never mind. I, I, I was to say, I would be surprised if pirates have used harpoons on other ships. Uh, wouldn't be surprised, yeah. Okay. Start. I can't believe this. She's late again. Where is that blasted girl? Give her a break, Smithy. About damn time. There's been a new development. I heard about the Monte Carlo incident. Was it harm? Indeed. They've just issued their demands. What you know is that at precisely 1700 hours Greenwich Mean Time on September 19th, 1967, an explosion destroyed Club Metropole in Monte Carlo, Monaco, killing 47 people and injuring more than 100. What you do not know is that the source of the blast was not a mechanical device, but rather a man, Commissioner Maurice Albert. Because you are at least somewhat familiar with the research of Dr. Otto Schenker, you are therefore capable of comprehending both the plausibility of this claim, as well as its implications. As we have demonstrated, our organization, Han, possesses the recipe for a biological weapon of such insidious potential and singular destructive power that no one on the planet is safe! Unless our demands are met. This is outlandish. <laughs> By now, I'm sure you have received the itemized list of our requirements. You have exactly one week to fulfill these requirements. If our demands are not met, we will be forced to discipline you. Already, we have infected prominent individuals in three dozen major metropolitan areas around the world. The first of our unsuspecting victims will detonate at exactly 0600 hours on September 26th. The estimated death toll is one million people! They're mad! The remaining victims will detonate at six hour intervals thereafter. Once our terms have been met, we will deliver a list of infected persons, as well as a quantity of antidote sufficient to curtail this catastrophe. However, because the deadline we have imposed is dictated by the chemical fuse inherent in the reagent itself, the sooner you comply with our wishes, the more time you will have available in which to administer the antidote. I assure you that you do not possess the medical means necessary to diagnose the infection, nor the technical means necessary to diffuse it. Therefore, it would be in your best interest not to squander valuable time on such useless endeavors. Furthermore, 
Any attempts by your secret service organizations to interfere with harm shall be severely punished. That is all. A puppet? Don't be fooled by the messenger. This situation is extremely grave. They certainly expect us to swallow a lot of maybes. Maybe they're telling the truth about Monte Carlo. Maybe the consequences would be as dire as they predict. Maybe there's an antidote. Maybe they'll fulfill their end of the bargain. I tend to agree with you, Agent Archer. But for the time being, I suggest we take them at their word. The word of a puppet? <laughs> what are their demands? Mr. Smith? 50 million pounds sterling, the continent of Australia, and an internationally recognized holiday to be known as Praise Be to Harm Day. I don't see the point. Presumably, it is to praise harm. Not in the holiday. In their demands, it's obvious we aren't capable of fulfilling them. Harm must want us to forfeit. Nonsense. They may be madmen, but we have to presume they aren't completely irrational. Why even issue demands if their sole purpose were to cause destruction and chaos? Distraction? Perhaps they expect a partial capitulation. That way they can get what they really want, the 50 million pounds sterling. But they can also justify punishing us when we come up short on their other demands. It's obvious from the way they go on about their secret weapon that they're just itching to use it again. You hardly have the experience necessary to support such speculations. Archer may be onto something. In any case, Harm's motives are irrelevant. Our goal is to stop them. Completely. No capitulation, no compromise. What about their warning? Once again, we must take them at their word. It is therefore imperative that we act swiftly and decisively. Our objectives are clear. We must obtain the list of infected individuals. We must get our hands on the antidote. And we must recover Dr. Schenker. And Volkov? <clears throat> He's only a threat if he knows what we're up to. If our theories are correct about Agent Lowry, Volkov shouldn't be much of a concern. What if your theories aren't correct? Then may God help us all. I hope we can come up with a better plan than that. What about the information we got off the ship? Well, the containers you photographed weren't accounted for on the shipping manifest, which comes as little surprise. However, much of the cargo aboard the freighter was on its way to a chemical plant in southern England. Not much to go on. Be that as it may, it's better than sitting on our hands waiting to find out if Archer's correct about Harm's intentions. And the captain's log? Useless. Shite. Tell us about this chemical plant. It's owned by Dumas Industrial Enterprises. Dumas? As in Baron Archibald Dumas? What do you know about him? Only what I've read in the papers. Apparently, he's a reclusive chap who spends much of his time hunting big game in Africa and Southeast Asia. No one knows much about him except that he inherited the company from his father about ten years ago. We're counting on you to discover whether or not he's connected to harm. And if he is? First things first. For now, try to get an audience with the man. Size him up. We need to know what sort of fellow we're dealing with. Your best bet is to see if you can catch him at the chemical plant. There's also a corporate office up north, but apparently he doesn't spend much time there. Whatever you do, don't jeopardize your cover. It's imperative that we take harm by surprise. Understood. I have a hunch we're getting close. If this lead pays off, we'll be one important step closer to victory. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure yeah. they, the whole reason they used the puppet is because it, it undercuts, well, the gravity of all of that. <laughs> That was a bit of a sick uh, sense of humor. As well. But bloody heck. I know it's supposed to be a parody of some spy movies and all, but compared to some other spy movies, this one is the most, almost most sinister evil plot, or at least evil plot Thingy that they have turning people to biological bombs. I think the word you're looking for is scheme. Scheme. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, just because something is you know, you know, also pokes fun at something doesn't mean it can't be serious or, well, dark. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to it Advanced Field Tactics. 
I want to I want to cut out that line and use it as something that people could <laughs> just have pop up because they it's it's just a singular line that's come being copied over and over again it's just there's something about that that makes me chuckle. What did it say? Uh, welcome to Advanced Fuel Tactics or something like that. Oh. It's more the copy paste nature of it. Now we know what happened last time we used one of these. And someone's back at work again. Damn it. <laughs> like, is it seriously not possible to use this without... Okay, there... Oh, it, it has a longer range than you think. That's why. <laughs> uh. Sorry. The stupidity of that line. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm not sure how much I missed here, but what the heck? Uh, yeah, it's a robo poodle. And yes, of course, that's the pole cord. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog is distracted. Okay, nice little thing that they s specify both sexes since, well, typically people assume that dogs are male or god dogs are male. <laughs> it's all the stupid things they can come up with in this game, huh? Yeah, I do. That thing looks terrifying. <laughs> it is possible that the reclusive Baron Archibald Dumas is somehow connected to the disappearance of Dr. Schenker. It will be up to you and Agent Goodman to establish the link, if it even exists. The first step is to meet the Baron in person and size him up. Whatever you do, don't blow your cover. Okay, interview Baron Dumas, search for evidence linking him to, <clears throat> to harm... Let's see, we have the usuals of the rifle, and then we also get, of course, our newest toy, and the shepherd, even, <laughs> again. Archer's uh, signature weapon is left at the wayside. Okay, sunglasses, lighter, Robo Poodle, and beret. And, of course, the silencers and scope. For this, uh, yeah, we picked it up. Nullifies poison damage caused by cyanide tipped rounds and poisoned crossbow bolts. <laughs> Let's take that along. So far, I think the only real damage type that we had thrown at us have been the dum dum rounds. So these aren't too useful at the moment. But at one point, I presume they are going to be using toxic rounds and such. Yeah, do. We haven't really had much fire issues as well, have we? Yeah. Good morning, how may I help you? We've an appointment with Baron de Maul. I'm sorry, but are you sure it was today? The Baron usually reserves Mondays for golf. Tuesdays and Thursdays are for skeet shooting, Wednesdays for fishing, and Friday afternoons for backgammon. Sounds like a busy schedule. How does he find time for appointments? His Lordship reserves Friday mornings between 11 and 11.15 a.m. for business matters. Really? Well, positive today was the day. Could you take another look at the appointment book? I suppose, but I can't see that it will do any good. The Baron's routine is quite established.
Very subtle, Kate. Would you excuse me for a moment? That should keep her busy for about ten minutes, poor lass. All right, wait here just in case. I'll find the Baron's office and see if I can dig up some incriminating evidence. I've got a better idea. You wait here and I'll snoop around. No way, sugar pie. Remember what happened last time? Heads or tails? Tails. <laughs> Heads, you lose. Sugar pie. Two out of three? Don't be a sore loser. Fine, but stay sharp. If you're seen, the mission's blown. If the Baron figures out you're in his office, the mission's blown. If you hurt anybody... The mission's blown, I know. Just remember what I said. Yeah, now we get to true stealth. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's see. To all the most employees, it has come to our attention that employees are dropping flammable paper, cigarette butts, and matches into company garbage cans. This is a fire hazard. Please cease this activity. Okay, so that's one. <laughs> the, f the original function of the lighter finally has a use other than that one specific level, then. Yeah, and also, why was that top secret? <laughs> uh. And immediately we can hear a bunch of cameras. Yep. I'm not sure I agree with your conclusions. Why not? Well, your methodology seems a bit suspect. What's wrong with it? How should I put this? Basically, you quote your mother-in-law to support your theory. <laughs> well, she had some pretty interesting things to say. Never mind. <laughs> okay. What she did with her hair? It's horrid. <laughs> I know. Short is fine. Look at Audrey Hepburn in Roman Holiday. But it's just so mannish. Well, at least you didn't have to listen to her mother lament about it for three quarters of an hour. Yes. Can you believe it? The poor dear was distraught, and who could blame her? Yes. I know you did. We all did, but she doesn't listen. There's a lot of chatter going on here. Mm. Oh, just Fran being an eavesdropper. It's not eavesdropping when a person's yelling down a hallway. Pipe down, you busybody. No, not you. Fran's teasing me. Okay, I better go too. Are you free on Saturday? Well, let's get together, shall we? Shut that up. She's over here. Oh. Uh, okay, what happened here now? Uh, did you did you get spotted by camera? There we got seen by a few, but we didn't get it didn't get a good look, or a good enough look at least, I think. I don't know if I've ever gotten through this yeah, level normally. But let's at the very least try. And we know that we can start some fires to cause distractions with the lighter. Hmm. I'm not sure I agree with your conclusions. Why not? Well, your methodology seems a bit suspect. Okay, I guess we have to wait for them to we to move on. Okay, wait for that to turn away again. Okay, th those two I'm a bit confused. Then again, I don't think I can... I would probably... If they were to ask me who's right, I would not Damn be it. able to. Okay, so this way we can't go because this thing will spot us too soon. Or we don't have enough time to duck away from that one, I guess. I, I think that's the same camera that caught you last time. Uh, but we were over this way. I'm not sure I agree with your conclusions. Why not? So we'll just have to... <laughs> okay, that guy wasn't there before. Wait, we did hear a guy say she's over there. 
Did we have a bug where he was invisible? Maybe, or maybe he was just hidden in the corner. <laughs> Damn it. We're going to have to be doing this a lot, I think. Or at least do a lot of quick saving. Oh, dear. She seems too busy to chat to notice us. Oh, maybe this thing saw us. Very possible. Oop, duck that oh, one that by accident. One. That might be the camera. Uh, where are you going? Not going to go down, down there? I'm just double checking for whatever that was that you saw. Because I didn't see a camera with sight on us there. Okay. <gasps> oh, right. You hurt anyone. <laughs> really, Helian? Really? Yes. <laughs> Okay, just going to need to play, run around a bunch. But yeah, I believe knocking someone out doesn't fully count as hurting them. So we should be able to sneak up and knock them out, hopefully. Actually, that, that will probably still count as enough hurt. So let's just... Let's just actually be flicked and sneaky. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, failure is inevitable. Let's see. Blueprints of new towers. Okay, he's headed this way. Or... No, he's just walking back and forth between there. Okay. And... Okay, he has sight on this here. Wait for him to. There we go. Is the camera nearby? Okay, did... <laughs> move, move, move. Okay, someone got a look, but hopefully not enough to. Okay, they didn't come looking. Holy. Yeah, if I played this as a kid, I would have hated this level and probably quit around here. What's the point of implementing safety regulations? Oh, sir. Damn it. Okay, yeah, we're going. This is going to be quite a thing. Did you see what she did with her hair? It's horrible. Uh, let's see. Short is fine. Look at Audrey Hepburn and Roman Holiday. But it's just a... Oh, dear. Oh, almost before I forget. We're gonna have a... What? Uh, yeah, uh, just okay, ignoring their being trolling. Oh. Right, well, I was going to say, we are going to have a second stream today. Yeah, we're at the very least going to try. There shouldn't be anything today that interferes with the times. So, we're at the very least going to freaking try for it. And that will be... Uh... It's, uh... Damn it. Okay, I'm going to put down a quick save. Oh, really? Only now do you start? I'm going to put down a quick save in the boss. That will save us at least some of this walking around. Yep. So I wonder... Oh, yeah. uh, what do we need to play later? I think we've hit the second of our main, stream, uh, main games with this stream. 
So, quick save. It, I think it'll be Shantae. Yeah, it would be a good idea for... Did, did we want to have one stream last week? Yeah. Let, let's yeah. see if we can actually knock them out and if that will break our cover or not. Who's there? Yep. Well, that's our cover blown. Oh yeah, not the best material to sneak on. Just concrete. Yeah, let's just let's just see if we can knock them out. Uh, I expect that we'll still get our cover blown, if, especially if we get seen like that. But if we can at least knock out guards out, uh, that should be able to help us a bit and yeah, make this a safe area at the very least. Yeah, but I did have the season of. Uh... Oh wait, no, but if... never mind. I just remember, you don't move the bodies here, you dissolve them. This probably will wake suspicion when someone's missing, you can't even find the body. Okay, that also fails us, so we, at least we now know. Yeah. Oh, bloody heck. Which means that we have zero safe areas in here at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I can see why people like the, uh, what's it called again, one of the games I was on with you very early on, uh, Aragami. Uh, yeah. That, that one was a good stealth game for, it was built to be stealthy first. Before combat. So stealth that worked very well. Stealth in these games, however... Can be very iffy. If we are just plain out unfair. Okay, don't go in there. Oh dear. Damn it. Can't close that. Okay. Let's put down a save here. Yeah, just in separate case. one. Let's see. The human resources from John Mulkey. I would like to report employee 22789, Brian Long. He has dumped flammable papers into the waste packet by his desk. Thank you. Okay. They probably put this there as a reminder that... Oh, come on. Oh, he... He's not heading in here. What's the point of implementing safety regulations if no one abides by them? After three safety training courses in the past two months, you'd expect to see some decline in serious on-site accidents, don't you think? I suppose so, sir. So would I. But according to this report, the accident rate's actually gone up. But, but, oh, camera. Damn it. How did it... it... It can really vary on how far away those things can see you, huh? Yeah. Bloody heck. And again, oh, oh, a high class office like this probably would have higher, would have higher quality cameras. And I accidentally hit the wall there, I think. Okay, wait for him to move away. He's going to come out again. What's the point of implementing safety regulations if no one abides by them? Go. And what's this about? Uh, okay, the same one. No, but wait, John Mulkey. Wait, have they both been? Have they both been doing the same thing and they're just accusing each other? I think I know what's going on. Thank you, Evelyn. Manning, this is Hilltop. Listen, I'm just looking over the latest accident report and... Hello? Manning? Good call, he hung up on me. Shall I bring him again, sir? 
Don't bother. I think I'd better have this conversation in person. I'll be back in a jiffy. Good luck, sir. Thank you, Evelyn. Okay, that camera has like a very wide field of view. Yeah, and these two, I feel like that's a yoke towards another trope. Uh, what then? Oh, you don't recognize it. The boss and secretary, where the secretary is just like her. And the boss is a blabbermouth. <laughs> oh, that. Uh, hello, someone has a... Okay, this, I'm not sure if this would count as a sauna or bath, because there's no way to get in from here, it seems, but what the hell is that supposed to be, then? But there are plants over there as well. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit confused over that one. And I think we've gone a full circle now. Yeah, this one is stationary and keeping an eye on this. Uh, is there anything we can see here? Because the employees seem to be very... <laughs> Brown, it's so slow this week. Only two memos in four days. So where should we go this weekend? Right back soon. Flora. The, uh, <laughs> the lady on the other side of this wall. <laughs> They're corresponding. Okay, so my guess is that we have to sneak into there. Oh, damn it. Should have put oh. down another save already again. Okay, let's wait for him to come out again. I feel like I want to do more commentating, but... What's the point of implementing Killian needs to focus here. Three yeah, yeah that one's focusing. <clears throat> but yeah, this level is a bit noisy. Yeah, you actually have to listen to a lot. Oh, so uh, it's just a carpet being. For a moment, it looked like there was a freaking secret door behind this or something. Yeah, I thought so as well. Okay. Well, at least well, as those two are busy. Damn it. They have a really wide field of view here. Don't yeah. forget the camera over your head. Oh. Oh, fuck. And there's nothing here except for a bit of intel. Can we get that? Yeah. Wait. Do we have a. Some, just some loose files. Come on. Yeah. Wait. Do we have a new spray? Yeah, the stun one. But the question is more, where the hell are we supposed to go here? Well, uh, could this stun one be useful here? Yeah, as long as nobody else notices it's being used. But the big question is, where the hell do we go from here? It, which of these is supposed to be the boss's uh, office? Let's see. Oh, oh, Baron A. Dumas. Okay. Okay. What the heck? Uh, let's see. Don't kill, avoid detection, create a distraction. Okay. Well, Probably we know that there's some papers around here. Cans. Yeah, a fire alarm would be a decent enough distraction clear the place out let's see here okay and then we just run over to the yeah, damn it I, I just go to peek to see if it spotted us or not and of course then it's that's what sets it off oh dear Go. Run over this way. 
wait for the camera to give up. And yeah, one of the guards came running in there. Hmm. Wait, was that the guard who was in security? Yeah. And uh, well done. Also, that's the room we need to be in. So yeah, question this... is. I think yeah, we need to cause the distraction first so we have enough time to actually look around. And it does look like there could be a hidden door behind this. Hmm. And probably why we need to do the wool distraction. Yeah. I think we need to do the distraction so we can get into, into the security office and do something from there. So let's do that. Wait for the guard to run past. And then we get into security. Oof. She's over here. Okay. Oh. What did that exactly do? Was that was that supposed to turn off the security or something? Yeah. Uh, uh, whatever. I think. I think I'd better have this conversation in person. I'll be back in the uh, I think you were not supposed to burn the one in the security. Probably. So you probably ran back because you did that. Okay. He doesn't spot us as he goes past. We do that. And yeah, that has disabled... That has disabled the cameras. Okay. Now then. Can we interact with this? No, that is... That is almost obviously the odd thing here. I'm not seeing anything else. No hidden buttons or anything. The pens? Or whatever those are. Really? I was right! Yep. <laughs> anyway, and Kate eventually turns off the lighter if we hold it out long enough. Okay. Now, this isn't uh, suspicious at all. Really? Leopard print? <laughs> oh no. Hold on. Yeah, hold on a second. Well, he has it away. Okay, we just called about something. Oh. Might need to call this stream a bit earlier because I forgot to do something. And yeah, if we go for full time, the stores are going to close. Oh. So now let's put that away. The okay, good thing that we turned off the security because that would have spotted us for certain. Okay. Okay, that's obviously going to lead somewhere, so let's continue here first. Okay, that's a very chunky looking rock. A random rock, even? Sure. I wish they'd go on tour again. Don't hold your breath. There, as long as they keep making records, I'm happy. I just hope they don't break up. I believe this takes place. This place takes place in '67, so I think the Beatles are about to break up. Oh, oh yeah, did. Was it? Why did they break up again? Not sure, actually. And we can't open this. And that's that table there looks very interactable by the fact that it's differently colored. Yeah, it looks a bit strange, even. Okay. 
Let's check this way. Oh. Hold on again. First to go do it now, so yeah, might need to might need to stop even sooner. Uh, this isn't working. And now there's guards walking around. Walking around very close. Hmm. Uh, uh, Rosie, uh, did you save? Now we have. Yeah, probably a good idea, so we don't need to redo all this madness. Okay, he's gone up there. Mm. We have a limited amount of these. Yeah, I guess we'll have to go up here if we might. Hmm. Let's see, is there a way that we can break into here from up here? Or we just turn off the power... Oh, not the power. But still. Let's see. Yep. Let's take that. Cosmo photo catalog of animals... First 20 subscribers receive a, a lemur, really? And uh, hello. What is this then? Not something we can photograph. She's over here! Oh, damn it. Obviously, the Baron is up to something. Okay. Can we stun this guy and just charge past him? Who goes there? Ooh. I hope by the time it... There we go. That we are somewhere safe-ish. Aaron, I can put headphones on. That was not a pleasant sound. Okay, activate that. Okay, this, we don't need to photograph that. We just need to head back to the front desk because it's obvious that the, he is up to something at least, whatever that is a model of. But yeah, let's just get back... I can hear at least one, uh, <clears throat> I can hear at least one thing is, act your camera is still active, probably the front desk one. Find the security officer and disable the alarm system. We already did that. Let's put that away. Any luck? Plenty. Do you trust me now? Nope. Now then, let's see if, um, we can't uh, sort this confusion out, shall we? That's all right. Perhaps we can reschedule at a more convenient time. Certainly. How about Friday at 11 a.m.? Perfect. See you then. <laughs> and back to the crapper. I want to take a look around in there. Good idea, but it's my turn. Heads or tails? Uh-uh. You got to go last time. Heads or tails? I'm going, you're staying. No arguments, no coin toss. Don't be such a Jesse. Heads or tails? Heads. Tails. You lose. Again. I'm in charge here. I give the orders, you take the orders. Well, now that we've decided who's going in, what are your orders, sir? All right. I'll help you get inside, but you'd better be careful. If anyone sees you, liquidate him before we can set off an alarm. And stay clear of security cameras. Don't worry. Photograph anything that looks suspicious and collect as much intelligence as you can. Files, correspondence, dossiers, anything. Aye, aye, sir. Excellent orders, sir. I look forward to following them. Hmm. Give me a few seconds, Head Start. A bit thick on the sarcasm there, Kate. 
Yeah. Oh, bloody heck. But uh, yeah, I'll just have to hurry a bit, bit shorter of a stream, sadly, an hour and 15 instead of two hours. Uh, but yeah, I really should hurry before the sh shops close. <clears throat> yeah, but we will have another stream in a few hours. True. So, and that, and yes, that's the game still runs on screen cap on monitor capture instead of game capture because it wants reviews to work with that. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let's look for someone quick to send uh, anyone watching to. Let's see, Rydian is on. Worst prenate ever is on. Pexicol is st streaming satisfactory. And t -t 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 -t, someone is playing Warframe. Uh, okay, Warframe or Satisfactory? Yeah, the, the Good Pexico question. Is yeah, Pexico is streaming uh, Satisfactory. I think I already said that. Uh, then we have Big Circle who is streaming Warframe. And, oh, Vix Torian is streaming L.A. Noir. I'm unsure here, I... Yes, Sect Victoria. Okay. Uh, wait, I forgot. I forgot to mute, so we got a bit of their stream there. Uh, I've yeah, actually been wanting to get back. I've actually been wanting to get back into uh, Satisfactory for a bit because, yeah, Minecraft and Create has been getting me into a bit of a production line <laughs> feeling again. Oh dear. Slash raids, paste, and uh, yeah. We Speaking of Minecraft, uh, yeah, next time we play that, we'll be starting on a new world because, uh, yeah, th things were pretty fun starting out on the ground, but they've been just, the uh, yeah, issues have just been stacking up to the point that they, it isn't as enjoyable anymore. And, well, the Project E stuff is b a bit too cheaty, so we're going to step away from that. So, yeah, yeah. new world, next time Minecraft. For now, though, Yay. let's start that raid up. And uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you DDD Calamity, even though yeah you're probably just a troll or something or just making fun. Uh, thank you for watching all the same, and uh, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And uh, yeah, later today. Uh, I think it has been. No, uh, no one lives forever twice in a row now. We'll have to check the notifications on Discord. But later today, probably Shante. Almost rhymed. Yeah, for a we, we have been doing a lot of Nolf. But yeah, until then, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. And watch out for raccoons. Come on, Stream Deck. This really.